Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to Digital Church Life Nuggets number 73. And uh, I took like a week off and uh, just uh, sat before the Lord working, etc. And have not said except till this morning uh, anything spiritual at all for seven days. The Lord had t- told me to take a uh, a uh, vow of silence for seven days. So in three church services, amen, <laughs> and uh, Facebook and all this, uh, this morning I released a, a blog. I'm going to start blogging short words in the mornings. Uh, they won't take long. It's very short. I think the one today was probably 50 or 60 words. So anyway, I'm now embarking on Life Nuggets again. This is number 73. You can now Google or go to YouTube, Dan Ingram Life Nuggets, and watch all 72, except for a few we couldn't load, of the Life Nuggets, probably almost nine hours of preaching and teaching and encouragement. So uh, you can just, it's it's a channel, YouTube channel. You can also go to daningram.org, my website, and uh, we have a Life Nuggets page. And also on that page, you can click on and, uh, the blog. So I'm going to start blogging, uh, of course, and doing the uh, Life Nuggets Digital Church. Amen. Hallelujah. But I want to talk to you about spiritual disciplines. You see, my friends, the Lord said in Luke 18, 1, When the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? And the Living Bible says, will he find people praying. You know, we hear a lot of teaching about prayer. Preachers preach on prayer. We take notes on prayer. We see church signs that talk about prayer. I'm talking to you about prayer. But you know what? The only failure, my friends, in your life, in your business, in your church, in your family, or in this nation, or in your marriage, or in your finances, or whatever, The only failure, my friends, is a prayer failure. That's why Jesus said, whatever you ask in my name, I will do. You see, asking shows faith, and prayer is simply talking to God like I'm talking to you. So I want to talk to you for just a few minutes, and let's just look at the Lord's Prayer. In the Lord's Prayer, he says, Our Father which art in heaven. Now check that out. Jesus said our Father, meaning his Father and our Father. You see, God is a good, good Father. Can I get an amen? So when we come to him in prayer, we just, in other words, we worship him. Father, you are my Father. You are my God. You are my Lord. You know, my Father, you know, which uh, uh, is intimate. It's personal. You know, he's he's not somebody else's God. He's my God. He's my Father. And he loves me, and he'll never leave me or forsake me. Can I get an amen? So we address him as our Father, my Father, who art in heaven. Watch this. Hallowed or holy is thy name. In other words, you're my Father, and Lord, you are holy. You are set apart. Your name is, is like no other name. You are You are holy. You are... You are separate. You are a creator. You are God. You know, you're, you're pure. You're righteous. You're holy. You're, you're awe-inspiring. You know, you're, you're incredible. You are God. And there is no other. Holy is your name. Amen. Then, then, then Jesus said, pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Amen. In other words, in heaven, there's no sickness, there's no disease, there's no poverty, there's no lack, there's no uh, division, there's no racism, there's no immorality, there's no uh, poverty. And so we pray, Jesus said, pray thy kingdom come, thy will be done. In other words, we pray heaven's provision for whatever our need is into earth. Thy kingdom come. So if we're sick, we pray for healing. If we're broke, we pray for money. If there's division in the family, we pray for unity. If there's, uh, you know, whatever the case might be, 
We pray God's kingdom come, thy will be done in my life, in my situation, in my business, in my marriage. You see, Jesus said to pray, my father who art in heaven, hallowed, awesome is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Amen. So whatever situation you're, you're facing today, just pray, Lord, thy kingdom come, thy will be done again. If it's a, a, a need, if it's a sickness, if it's, you know, a, a door of ministry you need to open up, whatever it is, we are to pray and bring heaven to earth. Amen. So God can move in a powerful way in our lives and our families and our church and our nation. And whatever the need, the Lord said, I'll meet that need according to to my glorious riches in Christ Jesus. So we pray, Lord, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And Lord, give us this day our daily bread. In other words, we begin to ask the Lord for our needs to be met. Whatever your need may be, you know, the Lord wants you to ask. I remember the Lord told me years ago, Danny, I want you to ask because asking shows faith. Asking lets the Lord know that, you know what, we're dependent on you, my Heavenly Father. We're dependent on you, so we're asking. In other words, we're inviting, amen, as I mentioned, his kingdom to come. But we're asking him, you know what, Lord, I need you to move. I need a job. I need an open door. I need uh, my family saved. I need my body healed. I need whatever it is. You know, I need provision for this day. My friends, he feeds the birds of the air. He clothes the grass of the field. Won't he surely clothe you? Amen. Oh, us of little faith. Amen. So he said, pray, Lord, give us this day our daily bread. And, for, and forgive us for our trespasses. Here's where repentance comes in. Lord, forgive us for our trespasses. I met up. Forgive me again, Lord. Purify me of all unrighteousness, you know, amen, and forgive me as we forgive those who trespass against us. So we forgive others. We release them. We let them go. Nothing will hinder prayer and God moving in your life more than unforgiveness. Hey, Andre, amen. How you guys doing? So if you clogged up today. You know what? Check your forgiveness scale. <laughs> Amen. If you're holding anything against anyone, forgive them. Amen. So, Lord, you, we pray, Lord, forgive me uh, for our sins as we forgive others who trespass against us. And then this, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. You know what? Lord, my spirit's willing, but my flesh is weak. So, Lord, keep my feet from evil. Keep my tongue from keep uh, speaking in deceit. Lord, lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from the evil one. Amen. For Lord, thine art the kingdom. Thine art the power. And thine art the glory. In other words, Lord, I want my life to glorify you. Bring your glory into my life, into my situation, into my family, into my business, into my church. So Lord, move in a powerful way. And Jesus said to pray, in his name. And how do I pray? I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And the Lord said, pray. It, you know, that's a great example of prayer. Hallelujah. The Lord told him, this is how you pray. The disciples had come to Jesus and said, Lord, teach us to pray. Just like John taught his disciples. And that's exactly what he prayed. Amen. So we want to use that as a model of prayer. Amen. It's simple. But it's very effective, amen. If we'll pray that, if you'll use that as a guideline, uh, you know what, prayer is simply talking to God like I'm talking to you. And it's a two-way street. We speak and then we listen. So in prayer, we also get the strategies for our life. He shows us how to pray, who to pray for, what to do, amen. For the Lord is good. Blessed be his holy name. And when do I pray? At all times, Ephesians 6, 18, with all manners of prayers and requests. And I keep on boldly praying for all the saints. For the Lord said in Ezekiel 30, I sought for a man to pray, to stand in the gap, but I found none. 
You know, he wanted somebody to stand in the gap so he wouldn't destroy the land. My friends, God is seeking us to pray, to stand in the gap for our nation, for our family, for, amen, those who were lost and undone. We have a major part to pray because God does nothing except in answer to prayer. So my friends, there's no failure but a prayer failure. So may the spirit of prayer come upon us. Lift your hands right now. Father God, I pray you'll just fall upon us. Fill us to overflowing with the spirit of prayer. And Lord, may the mantle to pray that was on my grandmother that came upon me be released to those who hear this video. And Lord, may we begin to pray in the spirit on all occasions. May we begin to pray with a powerful anointing that, Lord, we may see mountains move and lives change and people come to Christ and needs be met and bodies be healed and souls be delivered and people be encouraged. Lord, I pray this today in Jesus' name. My friends, lift your hand and receive the anointing, the spirit of prayer in Jesus' name. Cultivate it and talk to the Lord. Amen. Because he's seeking those. Amen. He'll stand in the gap. Be blessed. Be encouraged. Amen. This is the first teaching on spiritual disciplines. Life Nugget 73. Amen. Be blessed. Amen. Be encouraged. And I'll see you next time. God bless you.